last time on Persona 5 Royal. Oh no! Capture him! Let's go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! go, go, go. Y'all caught up. Now let's get to it. God damn, that was a long ride. Didn't think it would ever end. If you are ever confused about what to do or where to go next, look at the upper right corner of the screen to view various hints. Huh, only well, that helpful. Hello, my ray travelers. Welcome to my domain. This is Damnation, and we are back with another playthrough of Persona 5 Royal. Where we left off, we were at a casino, we we're off doing a heist, we got captured, arrested, and interrogated. And now we are recollecting the events of what happened that led up to our casino. And right now, we're on the subway, we're still standing here, so I suggest that we keep moving on so we can go to wherever it is that we need to go to. Oh, hello there, Takemi. Yeah, just a heads up, I played the original P5 Vanilla while well, I had it when it first came out, so I know how the original game goes. I do know in this game that there's some additional content, which I know for a fact I'm definitely gonna, gonna play through. So, if you see me, like, knowing more than I usually do, it's because of the original P5 Vanilla knowledge I still got in me. Huh, guess I found the place. It looks like this place is LeBlanc. I mean, it says it right above. Coffee and curry, LeBlanc. Yep, still a nice looking spot as usual. Oh, hey, Sojo. A public transit bus was driven down an opposing lane with its customers still in it. Damn. The citizens can't live in peace if this keeps up. I mean, who can oh, after hearing news like that? How frightening. Right? What could be going on? Didn't something similar happen just the other day? Other day? So it's happened more than once? Down is uh, the name of a shellfish used in pearl farming. Oh, right. They did say that was today. So we'll be going now. The payment's on the table. Thanks for coming. Uh, this place is in the back alley, so there's no worries of a car crashing in here. A what now? There's been a string of those rampage accidents, you know. I just hope that none happen around here. I don't think you need to concern. worry about that. <laughs> well, see you next time. Oh, four hours for just a single cup of joe. At least you're making some money. So, you're the guy. Yeah, that's me. What's up, Sotro? Yeah, I'm Sojiro Sakura. You'll be in my custody over the next year. I was wondering what kind of unruly kid would show up. But you're the one, huh? Yep. Have you been told? A customer of mine and your parents know each other and, well, not that that matters. This is your room. Ah, uh, that's my kind of view. I can have my own room to myself. I'll at least give you sheets for your bed. Oh, I'm pretty sure you can do more than you give me sheets. I mean, look at this place. Hmm? You look like you want to say something. I just did. It's a mess in here. Look at this place. It's clear as hell in here. It's on you to clean up the rest. Ah, well, that's just great. I'll be leaving after I lock up each day. You'll be alone at night, but don't do anything stupid. I'll throw you out if you cause any trouble. She keep talking to me like that. I'm about to cause trouble right now. You out of your damn mind leaving a cluttered room expecting me to clean it up when you should have done so already. Damn, man. Now then. Oh, so you're just gonna skim past that? Okay. I got the gist of your situation. Oh, did you now? And what did you get about my situation? Protected some woman from a man forcing himself on her. He got injured, then sued you, right? Yeah, that seems to be the gist of it. That's what you get for sticking your nose in a matter between two adults. 
You did injure him, yeah? Look, I didn't injure him. He fell on his own. And now that you've got a criminal record, you were expelled from your high school. The courts ordered you to transfer and move out here, which your parents also approved. In other words, they got rid of you for being a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah, please, bring that to my face, why don't you? Matter of fact, why don't you bring that I'm such a useless sack of crap? It's best you not talk about anything unnecessary. I am in the restaurant business, you know. Yep, that's what I was looking for. A man looking out for his own self-interest. Typical. Very typical. Behave yourself for the year. If nothing happens, your probation will be lifted. Look, I'll try, okay? That's all I can say, I'll try. Cause any problems and you'll be sent straight to Juvie. We'll be going to Shujin tomorrow. Shujin Academy, the school you'll be attending. Oh well, at least it'll be a fresh start. I hope. We'll introduce ourselves properly to the staff there. There's rarely a place to accept someone like you, you know? Yeah, yeah, I got it already. What a waste of my Sunday. Hey, 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 don't complain to me. You're the one that decided to take me in. Your luggage arrived a little while ago. I brought it up here for Well, at least you did that. I appreciate you, Sotro. Thanks, man. I'll be living here starting today. In this... Big, cluttered, cold, and musty ass attic that I'm staying at in a cafe place. <sighs> Man, my parents really love me. It's the cardboard box sent from home. It's full of clothes and daily necessities. I'll change the more comfortable clothes for now. There we go. Looking sharp, if I say so myself. There are all these unused household items lying here. It's not working at all. <sighs> Jesus, man. It's a table covered in dust. If I draw a line in the dust with my finger, it'll probably be really easy to see. Do I really need to say anything else at this point? I should start cleaning first. Yeah, good idea. All right, there we go. Now let's get in there. And take out a little bit here, and a little bit there, and another one over there. It's late. It seems like I've been cleaning for a while. I mean, compared to how it was earlier, this actually looks a bit cleaner. I like it. What the heck? I heard you making all sorts of noise up here, but I didn't think you were cleaning. Well, I didn't have much choice but to, considering the state you left it in. Actually, the place doesn't look too bad. Though it's only natural you'd want to keep your room tidy. Why don't you go to bed for tonight? You don't have anything better to be doing, right? Oh, no, not really. I'm going to close up shop and get out of here myself. Alright. I won't be the one looking after you if you get sick from staying up too late. Got that? Thanks, mate. No, really. Thanks, homie. Going to bed is a special action that will advance time. Time is limited. Think carefully about your schedule. Starting today, this is my room. Well, since there's nothing better to do, I'm gonna go to sleep. Arrest. Trial. Criminal record. Just another day in the hood, that's all I can say. Damn brat! I'll sue! Asshole. Still, I couldn't just let that go. Unfortunately, in a realistic standpoint, that's all we can do. Because ain't nobody gonna <sighs> care enough to help someone out in the street. Hmm. Troubles up ahead. Real troubles up ahead. Hmm? I can hear a man and a woman arguing in the distance. So what, your plan to go up there and stop it? 
Leave it alone, man. I think they're just up ahead. Ren, don't. Don't be a white knight, man. Don't. No! I mean it, man. Let it go. Just save yourself. Okay, that is a problem. She's in danger. I have to save her. Rent, rent, don't, don't, man, don't. What a waste of time. You think you're worth causing me trouble, huh? Well, we're in too deep, anyways. Hey. I'll, I'll call the police. <laughs> call them if you want. The police are my bitches. They're not gonna take you seriously. Hey man, let go of her. Someone called the cops, huh? Get in the car. Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. What are you looking at? Get out of my face. This ain't a show. Get lost, kid. See? This is all because you're so damn slow. Get in the car. God, you're an asshole. Hey man, I feel you man. I feel you. Hmm? Man, that been coming back. You sure you will shame compromise? You gotta get that looked at. Yeah, it does, and that looks mad creepy, yo. Man, that keeps coming back no matter how many times you delete it. You should probably get that looked at. Reboot your phone, scan or something, man, because that ain't right. That ain't right. You really gotta get that looked at. Oh, I, I guess you're just gonna sleep on it. Well, don't wait too long, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't tell me Shoujo actually rats out already this early. Well, on the bright side, at least yourself got a clean toilet. Well, clearing it in the states anyways. Man, they got you working on the railroad yards, ain't you? Well, better than the orange jumpsuit. <laughs> hmm? What the hell? Okay, who left the kids here? Hey, little girl, where your mama at? Okay, this is also mad creepy. I ain't doing no Stephen King's design shit. Mm -mm. And who the hell put me in a ball of jade? This is way too authentic. Come on now. Man, the both of y'all better stop staring at me. Hey, stop playing. Is that my man Igor? Trickster, welcome to my velvet room. Oh. Damn, your voice changed, didn't it? So you've come too, inmate. The you in reality is currently fast asleep. You are only experiencing this as a dream. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight! Yo, who do you think you- Welcome. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. I am Igor, the master of this place. Remember it well. Ain't that hard to forget. I summoned you to speak of important matters. It involves your life as well. Let me out of here. Know your place, inmate! Who do you think you're talking to? Who do you think you're talking to? Still, this is a surprise. The state of this room reflects the state of your own heart. To think a prison would appear as such. You truly are a prisoner of fate. Enough with the- In the near future, there is no mistake that ruin awaits you. Ruin? Man, you joking, right? 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 I speak of the end to everything. Damn it! However, there is a means to oppose such a fate. You must be rehabilitated, rehabilitated toward freedom. That is your only means to avoid ruin. 
Do you have the resolve to challenge the distortion of the world? I really don't have much say in the matter, do I? If I say yes, will you free me from this place? Allow me to observe the path of your rehabilitation. I'm gonna take that as a maybe. Ah, pardon me for not introducing the others. To your right is Caroline. To your left, Justi. They serve as wardens here. Ha! Try and struggle as hard as you like! The duty of wardens is to protect inmates. We are also your collaborators. That is, if you remain obedient. I shall explain the roles of these two at another occasion. Those two about to make me act like a mother fool. Now then, it seems the night is waning. It is almost time. Take your time to slowly come to understand this place. We will surely meet again, eventually. Time's up! Now hurry up and go back to sleep! Man, watch me and her. Watch me and her. You're damn right it was strange. Ain't no way I'm letting two lolly warrants tell me what to do. Damn that. Looks like you're up. Sup, Pops. Well then, let's go introduce ourselves properly to the staff about your transfer. Oh, goody. The school you're attending is in the Aoyama district. Aoyama? It'll take a while to get there by train. The transfers are a real hassle, too. So, what? You offering me a ride today? Alright, bet. Cool. I'll drive you there, but just for today. Let's go. Hi, <laughs> lead the way, Pops. Men aren't usually allowed in my passenger seat. Man, you offered me a ride, now you're gonna complain about it. Psh. You are something else, my man. You are something else. Though so you gotta admit, this is a nice ass looking school. Do me a favor and behave yourself, alright? I can only promise to try. Don't get me wrong, I don't care what happens to you. Just don't cause me any trouble. Whatever. To reiterate, just so we're clear, you will immediately be expelled if you cause any problems. Really? Rab and Humpty Dumpty seriously starting crap if with me I today already? You're nothing but a liability. But we had our circumstances to consider. Oh, so you only brought me into the circumstances. Man, I only knew you 30 seconds. I can hardly tell you a bitch, Kabayakawa. Whatever you might have gotten away with in your hometown, those days are over. Man, whatever, dog. I ain't do nothing. If you are thrown out from our school, there will be no place for you to go. Keep that in mind. And I know that's what y'all want, so I ain't give you the satisfaction of me doing nothing. So try that, boy. Try that. This is the teacher in charge of your class. Oh, uh, hello there, ma'am. I'm Sadayo Kawakami. Nice to meet you. I'm Ren. So you probably already know me already. ID. Hmm? Uh, ma'am, what was that? Be sure that? to read the school rules. Any violations will send you straight to the guidance office. And if by chance you cause any problems, I won't be able to protect you at all. Well, so much for first impressions. That is your promise, yes, Principal Kobayakawa? Mm-hmm. He is responsible for all his actions. Keep talking shit like you were doing earlier, then I won't be held responsible for this boot up your ass. Keep trying me, Humpty. Keep trying me. Keep trying me. But really, though, why me? There should have been better candidates. Aw, uh, you don't like me? It was a sudden transfer, and your class was the only one that had an opening. Well, then I'm the only one lucky. I got a cute homeroom teacher. If you're done explaining things, mind if we get going? I got a store to get back to. Sakura-san, please keep a close eye on him. Man, you're pushing it. I'm telling you, I'm not gonna be responsible for my foot up your ass. Stop testing me. Don't let him cause any trouble outside. Woo! Man, you can expel me today, cause I'm gonna cause trouble right here, right now! Well, I'll be sure to have a serious talk about the situation he's in. So, Jiro, you better hold me back, cause I'm about to cause a second situation right now. 
Come to the faculty office when you arrive at school tomorrow. I'll show you to your classroom. Man, that Humpty Dumpty sound on the wall head ass. Everyone's giving you the cold shoulder. Hey, his big ass is vanilla. Hey, his ass That's now. That's what having a criminal record does to you. Seriously though, I am glad you got me out of there. Turns out your past follows you wherever you go. By the way, if you get expelled now, I won't hesitate to kick you out. Got it? And did you not see the sparks I was flying in there earlier? I was about to get expelled today because of that asshole. I was ready to beat the bricks off his ass for his shit talking mouth. But yeah, don't worry about me, I'll scrape by here. I could save us all a little time and just kick you out now if that's gonna be your attitude. You started this shit by threatening to throw me out in the streets if I ever get expelled. Don't clap at me if you can't handle getting clap back, Sojuro. School never changes, huh? Nope, not a bit. Come on, we're going home. Yeah, yeah, I'm following you, Pimp Daddy. What a troublesome situation. I can't believe they pushed someone with a record on me. A male teacher would be better suited for this. Why in the world was someone like that admitted here? Who knows? It was the principal's decision. I was told that it's for the school's reputation. I would have thought that my volleyball team has contributed more than enough to cover that. That's certainly true. Be careful, okay? Then again, if anything were to happen, I'd kick out a student like that right away. Well, I keep wishing that he'd just end up not coming to school. Still, that isn't something I should be saying as a teacher. Well, I should be returning to practice. Oh, right. The tournament's coming up, isn't it? <laughs> Having such high expectations placed on you by others is quite a problem in itself. We'll have to work hard to make up for the track team, too. Yes, that's true. Why'd it have to be my class? Ugh, traffic's not moving at all. You're taking the train starting tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I know the deal. So, how was it? The school, I mean. Think you can manage? Man, have you seen the way I've been acting up today? Man, you know I can handle this, no problem. Mm. Now listen up. Yeah? Still, you were expelled once already. To think you'd re-enroll at a different one. Life's worse in mysterious ways, Sotro. It's not like anyone will be sympathetic with you. Man, ain't nobody but the staff know about my past. So I think we straight for now. That's what it was like at school. People might say stuff about me in the future, too. There it is. Of course. Talk about your reputation. Because if they find out you took me in, you're gonna be labeled as a guy who took in a criminal. What a troublesome kid I've taken in. And what a troublesome adult I got placed under. If you're still complaining about me, then why take me in in the first place, man? There, see? Not even the game's asking. Why did you take me in? I was asked to do it, and I just happened to agree to it. Right, because that's the reason you took me in, because you were asked to. You didn't really have to. Uh, I've already know. been paid for it too, after all. There it is. And now, back to today's top stories. A subway train has derailed, severely affecting the timetable across all of... Oh, another accident. So that's why it's so crowded. There's been a lot of those lately. In fact, there was a real sad one just last month. It happened before you came here. Really? What happened? 
If I remember right, the girl that passed away was only 15. Oh. Damn. Her parents have got to be just... Damn. That's heavy. All traffic around Shibuya Station is being redirected due to the accident, so drivers should expect jam-packed streets. Oh, come on. That's what you get for complaining. Though, in all seriousness, no, I hope this does clear up soon. This nigga possessed. This nigga possessed. Get an exorcist. Get an exorcist. Oh, shit. Do you not hear the screeching? Move. Move. Get out of there. Move. God damn. Are we okay in there? Shit. Despite his injuries. After questioning, even he could not explain his high speed when approaching the station. How when can you explain when you look possessed like that? Police are still looking for a plausible motive. It's less of an operating Further, accident and more of a crime of the company and the government. The Site inspectors apparently reported all of this six months ago. The deterioration of the tracks and the ATC. Seems a railway company and the Ministry of Transport both turned a blind eye to the truth. There's no way they can hide. This will go all the way to the top. Now on to our main story. With this derailment accident, as well as other recent incidents of unknown motive, concern is spreading among the general public. Just what could be causing such a drastic change so suddenly in these people? SNN has Everything's linked. That's what you're thinking, correct? Furthermore, according to SNN hmm. sources, oh well. Are you free? You and I haven't gone for a drink in a while. Thank you, sir. But I have another meeting to attend. I must be going. I was I was ready to go for this meeting. And that's when this extremely fast train just came crashing in. Oh man. I thought I was gonna die. Shit, man, you almost did. Glad he's alive though. Guys good, y'all. Did you ask for me? Is it a case? Not quite. I want your opinion on something. Sure. Your judgment is quite often correct, though. Can we discuss this over sushi, perhaps? You are making a student work late, after all. Conveyor belt only. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice try, boy. Damn, that car ride literally took all day? Damn, to think there'd be that much traffic. What a waste of time. I wasn't able to open the cafe today. Oof. You gotta love that traffic. Whatever. Just head upstairs. There's something I need to give to you. Uh, sure. Alright. Talk about a gruesome accident. 80 people were involved. Damn. That's not something to laugh at. That's a tragic. Here's a diary. Make sure you keep it up to date. You may be under probation, but there's no special limitations on what you do in particular. Besides following the law, that is. However, I'm obligated to report on you, which is why I'm having you record your daily activities. Okay, in this situation, that actually makes sense. I can't even complain about it. You gotta show proof somehow that I'm being a good boy and whatnot. Hey, what's up? I'm about to leave right now. Don't worry. I'll be there in no time. Uh -huh. I'll see you soon. Well, I'm off. I'll lock the place up. So do whatever you want for the rest of the night. All right, then. See you tomorrow. Oh, but don't mess up my store. If something goes missing, I'll hand you right over to the cops. Yeah, yeah, I got it, Pops. Ain't none worth taking, anyways. You got school tomorrow. You better head off to bed, all right? All 
I should do as I'm told for now. I guess. You can save at any time by pressing options. When you see button command the lower left, you can save at any time. I should write something. Well, glad that day's over. Can't take my ass to bed. Hm. Y'all hear that? That ringing sound isn't coming from my cell phone. I hear it coming from downstairs. Wait, who the hell can be calling around this late at night? The hell is this? Hey, it's me. You've gotta be kidding me. You've seriously forgotten my voice already? It's Sakura. Did you seriously just call me through the payphone? Uh, anyway, I, I closed up shop, but I forgot to flip the sign to closed when I left. Are, are you serious? You called me for that? Why don't you just walk over there and do it yourself? It's literally close by walking distance. It's too much trouble for me to come back just for that. Think you can do it for me? I mean, no problem, sure, but why can't you just... Ah, forget it. <laughs> See? Even the game says it for it's me. It's a personal policy of mine not to save a guy's number in my phone. Well, you better change that policy since I'm staying in your cafe. Either way. I'm glad you actually picked up. Anyway, I'll leave the shop sign to you. Well, can't complain about it now. Might as well just get this over with. Here we are. And a flip. Now it's closed. Okay. Now, I'm going to bed. Well, good luck with that. In case you're in the traffic accident that happened, I wasn't screw you over. Ooh, I'm sure it will. Oh, come on! How many times have to keep deleting this thing? It's getting ridiculous. It keeps coming back. Seriously, get your damn phone checked. Yes, please, get rid of it. Bro, I've been saying that for hours. Reboot your damn phone. Anyways, rant aside, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it took so long for you making it. This is Damage Entertainment, and I'll see you guys next time.